What was your own favorite data project in the last years? Uh, there's been so many good data projects. That's a really tough question. Just recently, I look at a lot at social data because that has to do with people, so you have a direct connection to data. Um, I find anything like the, there was one by Foursquare where you could look back in history on your Foursquare check-ins. And if you could take that data and extrapolate it to like a whole country, I think that would be interesting. But basically the visualization of how people, what people's behaviors are and what their intent is, that's what I find interesting. Yeah. Why is visualization important, especially the visualization of economics? If you think about today and what's happening with the data, there's so much data being produced today that there's just not enough time to crunch or to crunch all the data that's being produced. So in general, if you think about why, what is the visualization, basically it's taking the essence of data and finding a story within it and finding patterns. And that's why it's important to visualize the data. As far as economics go, there's also so much data being produced that has to do with economics that you have to figure out what is the story. Unless you really want to see the open fire hose of data, you, can't, you, you don't have all the time. So it depends who your audience is, of course. But in general, I think it's important because it tells a story about the data, whereas where somebody doesn't really understand what the data means, they can better parse it. You have joined Google recently. Right. Um, what's your job there? So my title at, at Google is Creative Evangelist. And I actually got there, I'm going to present a project that I did today, or last year actually, for Google. And what I, my goal there as a creative evangelist is basically how can you take the assets that uh, Google has, which is technology, and create something that's creative out of it. And that's the whole reason I'm there. How can you take this data, this technology, and create something that is meaningful to people? Because people don't, aren't attracted to data. People are not attracted to technology. They're attracted to stories and other, other people. And that's my whole reason for being there. So which trends do you see for the next few years? And what is the role that Google and other big players will have? I mean, the biggest trend is the, the accumulation of data. So there's a lot of data being produced, as I said before. So I think a trend is obviously there's going to be a huge job for people like, that are going to be here today. So how can you visualize data? How can you create stories out of the data? And as far as what I find personally interesting is how can you make data tangible? Obviously, visually, um, it's, you can make it tangible. but how, if you can make it more tangible, how can you make it almost three-dimensional? How can you create data and a visualization and make it almost like clay so you can actually play with the data? I think that's what's interesting. What's the next thing you're really willing to do or you want to do? Um, the next thing I'm working on is, I'm going to mention that as well, but basically I want to connect how can you make data visual or intangible, as I said before. So I want to connect bank accounts to belts. So, you know, the, the whole idea of you have to tighten your belt when your bank gets low. I want to make a, a prototype where actually it, it's your belt is tied into your bank account. It's connected to your bank account. So when your bank is a little low, your belt gets a little tighter. So if you spend something big, you can actually feel your, your money uh, actually tightening around you. What is your vision for data visualization? Uh, there's a lot of vision. I mean, there's a lot of visionary things that are happening. So if you look at movies like Iron Man and anything like that, so they all have to do with this idea of ubiquitous computing, pervasive computing. So I think at some point, data, as I said, it's all around us. So if you could somehow take all this data that we're producing even now, and and take it real time and do something with it, I think that'd be pretty visionary.